The riots have been going on in downtown Istanbul all day on Friday. You can see the riot police here in the central Taksim Square squaring off against demonstrators who are starting to set up burning barricades. They're hurling rocks and bottles. It's, it's very overwhelming. And this is the commercial heart of Turkey's largest city. This started as a protest movement <coughs> against plans to bulldoze that park over there and replace it <coughs> with a shopping mall. Uh, we don't want this place to turn into a shopping mall and now this has turned into something else because uh, the prime minister is controlling the media, uh, the, the police, and we have no control about uh, what gets out in terms of uh, news from Turkey. Th this isn't about a shopping mall anymore, not, is it? Not anymore. This is, I think it's going towards something political and uh, suppression has come to a certain level where people are fed up with this. Uh, so we're going to try to change this. Tonight is going to be a bigger gathering, so we'll see what happens. All right. Honestly, it's really hard to breathe right now without a gas mask. The crowds of stone-throwing protesters have gotten worse as the day has progressed. A lot of people very angry that the use of tear gas and this police force is being used almost on a weekly basis in Turkey against any public demonstration of dissent. The irony here is that just earlier this week, Istanbul was making its bid to host the 2020 Olympics. Now, it's become the scene of uh, a full day of riots. Ivan Watson, CNN, Istanbul.